No, no jumping. It's like a foot deep. So you can get in there and play. Papaya, where are we going? It's nap time at our house. Brinley's asleep, and me and Mackenzie are playing Avalanche. And I'm awake, the only kid. You're the only kid awake? Only kid awake. We are playing Avalanche. It's a really fun game. It's really good for kids to work on their fine motor skills. So, Mackenzie, I'm going to film you going doing a turn. So, spin your spinner. I got Mommy got the red, so you spin it once. Let's see what it lands on. What did it land on? Green. Green. So you need to pick one green apple and put it on the pile. Okay. Yeah. Right. And now it's my turn. We're going to play one game of avalanche. And then I have to get ready and go to the doctor. And Mackenzie's going to go play with her friend Holden. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Let's kill this sleep. So we're going to go to that same island where Mickey Mouse is. It is. We got to see you. I just got done with a doctor's appointment. A few weeks ago, I had to go in with uh, just a, a few concerns. And um, uh, the first thing they did was they did a ton of blood work. Like, a ton of blood work. And I had to go in um, after, like, fasting for, like, 12 hours. So, like, there was nothing in my system. I hadn't eaten. I hadn't really drinking. And so they checked all kinds of stuff. So everything looked normal, which was good, with the exception of two things. One, um, the doctor told me that I am, uh, I have really low vitamin D levels, which totally makes sense because I don't do dairy. Like dairy kind of hurts my tummy. So, um, and I've never been like a big milk drinker or whatever. Um, but I'm in the sun a lot. Like I live in Hawaii, so. I don't know, maybe I should start laying out in the sun more. Um, but then that'll cause cancer. So anyway, so I guess I should get some vitamin D little vitamins and take. But the other thing that's kind of weird and kind of, I don't know, it's weird. Like it's um, basically she showed me my blood levels, how I'm technically according to that, like I am like borderline, like, you know, like I don't wanna say diabetic, but basically I'm like pre-diabetic according to her numbers. And, you know, as long as I didn't eat a bunch of sugar and then go in there, because that was like at a fasting, like I hadn't eaten in a while. And then I did my, um, or did my levels or whatever. So, yeah, that's just really weird. I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to go home and kind of research that. But I'm going to go back in in about three months and she's going to recheck everything again just to kind of compare but other than that like everything was fine like my cholesterol was fine my blood count was fine like all that stuff which is really weird because I when I was pregnant with Mackenzie I was um, I was borderline um, I had gestational diabetes with her like borderline like I kept failing that test that you take so they just said well you know you don't need to have insulin or anything but just check yourself just kind of control it with diet, which is what I did. It was fine. And then, and another reason why Brinley or Mackenzie was breech. So with that pregnancy, I had to have a C-section with her because Mackenzie was a big baby for me compared to Ammon and Haley. So the way the doctor described it is um, because Mackenzie got too big too fast she couldn't like flip and she couldn't be head down so she was kind of like stuck for months months once i realized that like what i had been pushing on was not her bottom it was her head and then i realized that she had kind of been stuck in that position for a couple of months before i had her um yeah and she was pretty big and then when i had brimley um once again, I was same thing with the whole gestational diabetes things. It was kind of like borderline where, you know, they felt like I didn't have to take insulin, but I just had to be careful with what I ate. Um, and sometimes I wonder, like I've often wondered, like, did it just, did, 
having that kind of like changed something with my whole system. Um, I wonder because sometimes those feelings that you get when your blood sugar is up and down and it crashes like not all the time now but there are times where like I, f I can physically it's like a physical feeling that you get where you can tell when it's up and then it's dropped and then it's like you feel like faint and I mean like with Mackenzie I pass out you know which I did that one time at Disney World just passed right on out um, it's crazy um, so yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm healthy. Like I'm, a, I had lost three pounds, which was, hey, I'm not complaining with that. Um, but guess what? It's because I've been doing that thin, what is it? Fit Trim Healthy Mama. And what is it? It's cutting out carbs and sugars. And that's what I've been doing for the past, what, like three weeks. And I've lost like three pounds, you know, which isn't a big deal, but I feel better, but so I'm really curious to see that if I take a, you know, these next few months and I really do cut back on the amount of crap that I'm eating, which is carbs and sugars, um, I wonder what my numbers will be when I go back in January and I redo all this blood work again. I'm curious to see what she comes back and she tells me. So we'll see. It'll be a good, uh, a good way of um, kind of testing it out see if this little fit trim healthy mama is uh, the real deal or not but yeah so I was told to um, really cut back on the amount of sweets and carbs that I eat so that made me feel wonderful <laughs> but anyway so I'm gonna head to Costco I've got to go get gas and fruit believe it or not like fruit sugars carbs haha -ha. hey Mackenzie um, Mackenzie, how, um, what does that smell like when you smell that blanket and that CC? It smells like nothing. Like nothing? Why do you smell it? Is it because it smells good? Yes, how do you know? Well, I've smelt it. It doesn't smell good to me. But maybe it smells good to you. Winter, we, we have to get rid of that pacifier. Okay. How old? When are you gonna get rid of it? How old are you gonna be when you get rid of it? Ten. My Christmas. Mm, what are you eating, Brinley? What is this? Mine. I know it's yours. What is it? Mine is yours. I didn't eat. Yours. I don't need food. How are you? Okay, so we have a little breakfast this morning. A little breakfast date at McDonald's before we shop at Walmart. Mackenzie's at school. And I... She needed... You needed food, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Put the horses up, okay? We have to keep going. Maybe for your birthday. Good job, baby! Yay! Yay! You did it! I did it! You did it! Now Mackenzie's gonna go. So I see that my child is in nothing but a diaper. But it's because we got to the park and they had sprinklers going. So, all the kids started playing and she wanted her clothes, well, well, I took her clothes off of her. So she's playing Nike today. Woohoo! Yeah? Good job. Are you having fun? Hi, Asher. Oh, do it again. Show me how you can do it. Wow, Brinley. Oh wow, you look beautiful. Is that your Halloween costume? Yep. What are you gonna be? <laughs> what are you gonna be? Listen, stop. A mermaid. Oh, a mermaid. Like it? Hey Jackson. You look nice. My boyfriend is here. That is your friend. You okay. can't friend, I can't boyfriend. Hey. I'm just friend. calling him boyfriend, so he's a boy and he's my friend. Mm -hmm. So I'm calling him boyfriend. Hi Jax. Hey. Hug. Okay, all right, all right. She's my girlfriend, now I'm his boyfriend. Yeah, we're friends, friends. Come on, Sparky, you can do it. I know you can. Me and you together. 
Hi, babe. What are you watching? You got your cowboy hat, your boots. Are you watching Callie? That's Callie. Callie the ca Callie the cowgirl. You watching Callie the cowgirl? Oh, they gotta get the train. Do you, do you like that show? She's gonna be a punk rock girl, yeah? And can I tell you something else crazy? They're called jelly bracelets. Yeah. And mostly... How many did you get? 144, and they're only $5. I'm like, I want that. So I'll put 72 on the storm, 72 on the storm. He made me this, and look at my book. Let me see your page, your picture. Oh, that's so nice of Jackson. Jackson, that was me, nice of you. It's me and Jackson and a rose and heart. Let me see. He made you a rose. And what does it say? It says Jackson. I accidentally mixed up my name on the top. Oh, it's okay. Oh, let me look at the picture at the bottom. Hold it still. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Nothing. that a rose and you and Jackson? Mm -hmm. That was nice. Okay, Am and staying home sick today. I think he's just kind of tired. And I have to take Haley to school, doctor's appointment this morning, cross-country practice, swimming lessons. I got invited to a 31 party that I would like to go to. And then I have Relief Society activity night tonight. So luckily there's childcare. Um, my house, trashed, 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 trashed. Laundry's in the washing machine, dishwasher's full, breakfast dishes are out. And yesterday, I sat down and I sewed. So I have all of my quilting stuff out. The kids did art time last night. So I have a busy day ahead. I need to go fix my hair. I need to put my makeup on. I need to do all these things. And my daughter appointment is at nine o'clock. It's 7.30. So I'll be rushing. Mackenzie, I have a question for you. What? I have a shrimp right here. Do you want to eat it? No. Why? Because I'm a mermaid and the creatures like mermaids. So I you're think oh. I'm a fish. So you're a mermaid and do mermaids don't eat mm. sea creatures, right? Yes. So that's why you won't try the shrimp for dinner? Uh-huh. Can yes, help the animals and I won't eat them all. How many days have you been a mermaid? Just like me. Yeah. Is that your Halloween costume? Yes. Can I ask you something? Why are you on that? How many days have you worn that outfit? A thousand. Mom, these mm. are not supposed to go like this. How are they, they supposed to go? No, Look. it's not supposed to go like this. Oh, that. you're right. It's supposed to go on your wrist like a bracelet. <gasps> now we know. Oh, wow. Ammon. <laughs> we didn't know, but now we do. <laughs> I know. He's, <laughs> he's used to girls and sisters. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> how many days? <laughs> how, <laughs> Haley, yeah. how many days has she been in that? Probably <laughs> a thousand. Two. Thousand. Haley, two. 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 Okay. She got her costume in the mail yesterday, and I wasn't going to give it to her. But she got it out. She wanted to put it on, and she I think she took it off to sleep last night. And then when she woke up this morning, that's the first thing she did was she put it on. She went to a friend's house today, and she wore it. We have to go to church tonight, and she wants to wear it. Hi. Hey, Brindley, what, are noodle, what noodles are those? Yeah. It's like a Three, one, one, two. Oh, it's one, like two. It's like you're in jail. She's one, two. Yeah, it's like she's in jail. She has handcuffs one, on. Two. Oh. One, two. Three. One, two. One, two. Yeah. Two. yeah. Uh, two. Okay, so those of you who are watching this, um, 
if, if you have watched um, my birthday to see Life Park, um, whatever, um, whenever it was the part to blow out the candles, I only blew out one candle because Brinley was standing next to me and she thought it was her birthday. She was like, what? And she blew out every candle and that's why it took long and I only blew out one. So are you only one this year? Mom. No. no. But you know what? Hey, you know what? You're a sweet sister though, and you had a lot of patience with her, and you didn't get angry at her. So thank you for that. What? Okay, so Haley is asking, Mackenzie, honey, be quiet. Haley is asking for anybody out there that watches our vlogs, if you can comment below and let us know what you're going to be for Halloween. She wants to know. Hear it. I want to get down. You want to get down? Yeah. All right, say Ammon. Can you get me down, Ammon? That could be my coffee when you crack. Yeah, can you get her down? Thanks, Ammon. Oh, my fell. Are you okay? All right, you guys, big kids, help me clear the table. If you touch an iPad, you're grounded for the rest of the night from it. I got it. Okay, come help me. Come help me clear the table. Hi, Reese. What are you doing? Nothing. You're nothing? Are you having a snack? I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. You wanna hold it? I think I'm gonna hold it today. Hi Nadia. Are you having a snack too? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah? Brindley. <laughs> I think Brindley's kind of um she's kinda of jealous my attention is elsewhere, so Brindley's kind of going through this phase where sometimes she's not very nice to her friends and it's kind of frustrating because Brindley has always been like the sweet little kid and these past few weeks, Mommy, like the Mommy, tables have turned, she's kind of been like the mean friend and I don't like that. She's gotten in lots of trouble. What? You want me to make this? I'm not making smoothies. I don't have stuff to make smoothies. I need you to shut that though, okay? Did you find the blender? What are you eating, Breeze? I'm eating pretzels. You're eating pretzels? And what are you eating, Nadia? A granola bar. A granola bar. Wow. We've got a couple um, friends hanging out this morning with us. Just for a little bit. Hey, let's shut this, cake. So it's Friday. And of course, it's a busy day. Um, we have... Uh, Big kids are at school. Mackenzie's at school. Brinley's at home with me. We have a few friends. We have a whiny Brinley. Yeah, she's whiny. And so tonight, what do you want, honey? Look at mommy's face. What do you want to eat? I don't know what you're saying. What do you want to have? You're just saying, I want to have one. I don't know, show me, can you show me? That one's actually been doing really good with going to potty, which is uh, great. What cookie? Oh, you want a granola bar? She has a granola bar. I, what do you want, honey? I don't know what you want. I don't know what she's saying. I just got another call from the school nurse. <laughs> Ammon apparently was playing at recess. He was running. He twisted his ankle. He went to the school nurse. So she's icing it. She says that, you know, he's able to walk on it. It's not turning red. It's not turning colors. But I just find it kind of funny that like, the least little thing happens and Ammon has to go to the school nurse. That kid, I tell you, he's so funny.